because I don't want to ruin this makeup. And it took me a while to get this makeup done. The stupid shit I have to say to like get myself happy or like not think about it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Candy, and today, as you can tell by the title, is a little bit different video than I would normally do. Before we get started, I do want to give a quick shout out to all my candy babes. Thank you so much, guys, for rocking with me and sticking with me and responding to my polls on Instagram and commenting on my pictures and following me on my different ventures that I have been doing the last couple months. So thank you so much for all your support. It means the world to me. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video. It is something different than what I would normally do from my makeup tutorials. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. The reason why I wanted to do this video is because I actually just started a whole new page on Instagram and I'll make sure to link it here for you guys. I, you know, I have to, I honestly, I, ever since I turned 31, my life, personal life, has been really up and down. I personally have been dealing with a lot of things that I haven't really showcased at all to anybody. I feel like for me to be a better version of myself, to really grow from what I'm learning, I have to be able to talk about it and I have to be able to figure out a way on how I can deal with things. If you guys know and if you follow me, we just recently moved to Arizona from Washington. My other videos of the 31 things I learned, I briefly touched about how I haven't really had that connection with family. I don't really have that connection, you know, with my friends as I did growing up. Like, you know, you grow up, things, shit happens, you know what I mean? You, you grow apart, you're still friends, but you're not as like, you know, peanut butter and jelly like it used to be. And honestly, I haven't really had anybody to really be there for me through everything except for my mom. I, not My best friends really don't know the things that I've been through. They don't really check in on me and vice versa. I don't really know what's going on with them and I don't really check in with them as much either because I'm just a private person. I really don't talk about the things that I go through. But now that I'm getting older and now that I'm realizing the things that I want in life and what I don't want to consume as my own like mental barrier and things like that, like I have had a hard time really trying to be happy and figuring out what the f I want to do. Um, I love the passion of makeup. The makeup literally has been my therapy. But moving here has been quite a toll, not just on me, but on my boyfriend and on us as a relationship. And um, especially when it comes to finances, it was a lot. It has been and still is a lot financial for us to kind of catch up on what's going on, making sure bills are paid, making sure the kids are fed, making sure things are taken care of. And me wanting to do my passion, you know, it, in reality, it costs money for all the lights to be on to do this. And to cut back on our bills and cut back on things like that, I actually slimmed down on creating content. And it's really to justify on our money situation. Between that and the stress, I have been dealing with not so much anxiety, but much more of the personal side between me and my boyfriend. We have fought a lot. We have have blamed each other for a lot of things. We've stopped talking for a while, like you know, just basic communication. And if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you saw for like a week straight that I just posted things that are just trying to show him that I love him, to show like that I care, you know, like my version of saying I love you because this is what I do. I love doing these kind of things. But um, <laughs> we fought like any relationship we have been fighting a lot lately and it's been hard to kind of really dive into makeup and dive into anything because he is my best friend he's my partner he's the one that I want to marry eventually one day and grow old and get you know have no hair but gray hair up here you know what I'm saying like I envision myself with him for the rest of my life but with everything going on and the words that are said, it's it was a toll, not just on me mentally, but on my heart because I'm a Scorpio. I wear my emotions on my sleeve, as you guys can see. I definitely felt myself getting more sadder. I definitely felt myself of the candy that everybody sees, a happy joy, being stupid and goofy 
person was definitely winding down because I was what I decided I needed to do for myself to think about positivity things and bring me out of this funk I think that's why I kind of really started to I think that's why I started to really um, find quotes that could help me be more positive about who I am and what I deserve in life and um, Pinterest was my best friend at the moment <laughs> Needs to say, going on Pinterest, I I needed to find quotes that helped me feel like me again, and um, I found a lot that made me feel like me. It started to make me feel like I know what I'm worth. I know what I can bring to the table, not just to him, but to my sons, to you guys. It was depression. I was like super sad. Like I've been trying to get back to the place where I was because. I know the environment that we're in right now, it's due to stress. It's not due to what we really feel. But as you can see, I wear my heart on my sleeves and I'm just uber emotional. I'm uber everything. <laughs> also, do you guys like the fact that I'm using a t-shirt to wipe up my tears? <laughs> so stupid of me. I'm trying to be real with you guys. I'm trying to show this side because it's the reason why I started a new page and I wanted to do this page because I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not the only female that has ever felt like they don't belong or they don't feel loved or they not, whatever they're doing isn't right and finding those quotes made me be like, you know what, I want to create a page that shows a little bit more of the Candace side that no one really sees. And it's, I guess it's more my vulnerability, as you can see. I really wanted to do a do a page that showcases quotes that really touch my heart. And then also show you pictures of me and my boys. Um, just me being real and not really showcasing or just trying to hide anything anymore. Because I feel like me not showing any emotions or really being real with the things that I'm going through. You're not understanding the gaps between my posting and not posting. Pause, I gotta, I gotta be a mom for a minute, hold on. What's up, boo-boo? My little Oliver. My little man gives me, gives me so much love when I need it. Whew, thank you, Ollie, I needed that break. I needed that little, I needed that break, baby. Thank you, boo. That's also another reason why I, I knew I had to stop because I know that you, your your children can proceed and can see when you're not happy and, or, you know, when something's going wrong with you. Especially now my oldest is 10. I can't really hide more shit from him. And he's a fucking smart ass and he can find and figure out things out for himself. And with Oliver, he can, you know, babies can tense that kind of stuff. So I, for my own self, I had to change. And that's why I started the page. I haven't really posted anything yet. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, I have my, at least my first post up because I'm a perfectionist. I've been really trying to find the right quotes that I really want to showcase to you guys that are showing my more vulnerability side. But I just want to have that page to kind of be more of like me. You'll see me being a little bit more sexy on my photos maybe. Uh, me being a little bit more goofy. Me being a little bit more... Um, open on my feelings and how I'm expressing myself you know I have three different Instagram pages I honestly just want to get out of my comfort zone and just out of my skin and really do this not only for you guys but it really is to help me with my own growth because it's showing more of who I am and the things that I'm going through and I am human <sighs> but anyway that's kind of what I want to do I just want to say hi um, I'm going to try to be better at recording things for you guys, uh, depending on my day. And I also, you know, I'm trying to get a job because I need some money, as you didn't hear earlier. You know, we're getting money is tight. And I kind of want to put my fourth of contributing to the household. I don't want it all to just rest on him. It'd be great if I got paid doing this. <laughs> Katie Lynn would be doing this a lot more if I was. But in reality, I'm not. This is all me doing this out of my own heart, my own hobby, my own content. So, in a nutshell, that's kind of all this video that I wanted to say. I'm sorry I got all teary-eyed, but again, I'm trying to be more vulnerable and show you guys this side of me. 
Um, I'm sorry if I offended anyone when I've been speaking my honest truth. So boo, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. But I'm being honest and this is how I've been feeling for a while. And um, I can't just hide everything. I definitely want to get this off of my chest. So I feel like if I get it off my chest, it would make it a lot easier for me to move on and be happier and be able to place my feelings and energy into other things. I just love you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support, you guys. And I will catch you at the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs>